Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Tuesday the 16th of June. The local media headlines today. So how was it for you? Did you enjoy queuing to get back into the shops? Or are you showing solidarity with those in Scotland and Wales who think it's still too early to be spreading germs up and down the high street? One shop owner who might be rubbing his hands in eager anticipation is Sir Philip Green, whose Arcadia Group owns a vast collection of big-name retail stores. Cornwall Council will tomorrow give him more than £87,000 because he can't afford to pay his business rates, despite being worth £950 million. Cornwall Reports also noted that County Hall is still going ahead with plans for a new key spaceport, despite the absence of a credible satellite launch operator. And we had some fun pondering just how much power might be vested in the Cornwall and Isles of Scilly leadership board in the new normal after Covid-19. The Falmouth Packet was among the media to note that another day had passed without anybody dying from coronavirus in any of Cornwall's hospitals. Nearly 200 people have died in Cornwall so far, and the main focus now is on care homes. But the NHS figures do suggest that the situation now is much improved on where we were in April. Pirate FM says St Austell Brewery has started making beer again, anticipating that its pubs will be able to reopen soon. The Cornish Times promoted a new initiative designed to help local charities. And finally, Cornwall Live told us what was on telly. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.